Welcome, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, Togo was the most improved African country in the ease of doing business ranking by the World Bank this year. What are the areas that you would like to focus on to ensure that you continue to progress further next year? We have, uh, two years ago, we were very, the, the, our ranking was not very good, we were 156. Uh, and uh, we have uh, decided to do what is necessary to improve that because we have understood and have realized that we can't invite the private sector if our country is not attractive and if we can do business easily, given our history, because we, our background, we have a uh, background of crisis in the early 90s, and uh, we decided to, to do it. The big improvement that uh, you have been seeing since last year, actually, because the first year, of the last year it was uh, 19 places that we gained, and uh, this year 40 places. Now we are in the top 100 uh, uh, of uh, doing business. What do we need to do now to improve? I will say, first of all, where we have done well, we have to keep improving. You know that because it's a kind of competition. Every year, other countries also make progresses, but I will target maybe two. The first one is how to strengthen our uh, justice system uh, to, uh, to resolve the litigation between businessmen or private companies, and how to do it in a very transparent way and a very speedy way. Uh, I think that will be the first area where I think we need to uh, make some more progress. Second one is, uh, has, it will have to do with uh, technology, how to use the e-payment, for example, to pay taxes, uh, taxation, how to digital, digitalize our economy. So I think those are the two areas where we need to improve. Because it will increase the efficiency, and it will, uh, as for digital, digital, and it will give confidence as for justice system. And alongside um, business economic reforms, the Togolese people have also asked for political reforms uh, through protesting last year. How committed are you to pushing through those reforms? Oh, I think uh, those reforms have been uh, implemented already by the National Assembly uh, in, uh, in May. So they are uh, realized and the new constitution has uh, taken into account those reforms that were asked. Actually, it was a consensus, a consensus among the political uh, uh, leaders, so we did it by the assembly. And how is the Nigerian border closure affecting Togo? You know, the free movement of uh, goods and person is, I can say, is, uh, the main pillar of integration, and it is on our DNA. Because even uh, our parents used to travel a lot before ECOWAS, before the creation of ECOWAS, there was that free movement. It was maybe more difficult, but it does exist. But I want to also say that you shouldn't think that free movement goes without uh, problems. Today we have a security environment which is very challenging in West Africa. And uh, when you say free movement of goods and persons, not only the good persons are moving. Sometimes some terrorists, smugglers also are moving. And we have noticed that in our, in our life. Once in Togo we have eliminated, we had eliminated all the barriers but sometimes for security reasons and temporarily you have to reimpose them because you can have some by intelligence some information that people will uh, uh, pass through Togo to go to another country etc so we do understand that at a point free movement can be a, an issue for a country how does it affect us of course it does affect us uh, a little bit, but we think that if it is done with the spirit that it's not something permanent but temporary, we can sit down and discuss 
and say how we can do to let those who really need the free movements, meaning the traders, our parents, to see, uh, use that facility and the goods that are needed to be exchanged, like, uh, like food, but not to let the smugglers, or drugs, or arms use free movement to harm our countries and our people. And so speaking of discussions, how are negotiations going to get that border reopened? I think the negotiation discussions are uh, going uh, primarily among the countries which are concerned, meaning uh, Nigeria, Benin, and uh, Niger, but it will be widened, uh, including Ghana, Togo, and the Africans. So we are, we are using that. You have to say it's not only to open the doors. Open the door, but how to make sure that uh, we don't uh, develop uh, trafficking, smuggling, etc. I think it's possible to do both. We have. Uh, uh, we are inspired by also the European Union. But you remember when there was a refugee crisis in Europe, they temporarily closed their doors. They had decided to close the, 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 the borders. So sometimes it happens. It is important that we go for free movements, but when there are problems, we should be able to uh, improve our regulation. But, so do you see the border being reopened this year? I, think, I don't think that is. Uh, uh, the sooner, the better. But the most important is to solve the problems that uh, 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 led us to uh, the, the, the border closure. There are about three pirate attacks a week on, off the Gulf of Guinea. Um, do you feel enough is being done to curb those attacks regionally? I think individually, countries are doing what needs to be done. Where we are a little bit weak is how to cooperate. You see, Togo, we have a very uh, narrow uh, uh, maritime uh, uh, frontier. You know, it's about 50, maybe 50 kilometers or so. So if something happened in my waters and I'm pursuing the, the, the pirates, uh, they will go to Ghana very quickly because of the narrowness of my, uh, 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 maritime, of my coastal line. You understand? But in that time, am I able to contact Ghana or to contact Beni Eastward to tell them that uh, something is happening in Togo? Yeah, you need, we need to talk and uh, you need to take some uh, uh, measures to, to, to help us. There, we, I think we are very weak and we need to improve that. Are you worried about terrorist violence spreading south? Yes, yes, we, we have unfortunate. I think that's what I was saying, you know, our region today. Uh, is uh, plagued by this uh, terrorist uh, problem. Uh, some of the answers are in our hands, what we have to do, but the most important is the situation in, uh, in Libya. As long as the situation in Libya is what it is now, it will be very difficult to defeat uh, those uh, terrorists. And um, on the infrastructure front, Dangote is investing in Togo in a two billion Phosphat mining um, project. Can you speak a bit about how that deal came about? Actually, it's uh, <laughs> how to say it. You know, some things are very obvious. They are so obvious that you don't see them. Because look at how close we are, Nigeria and, and Togo, and uh, the big investment that uh, Dangote made in uh, oil sector and petrochemical uh, sector. We started some discussion in 2011 but he, for some reason he didn't go through. And last time that uh, Mr. Dagote uh, came here, I was, we were talking and I said, this is the problem you have. You have been uh, exporting uh, raw phosphate, phosphate rock since uh, 1959, and you are probably one of the only country in the world that use phosphate, phosphate like that. And uh, he, visit, he sent me, he invited me to visit his facility two years back or three years back. So in the discussion, we come along that, yes, we can, uh, we can uh, do something together. There's a good complementarity uh, between uh, what he's doing there with his uh, petrochemical complex and our phosphate uh, mine. And there's also the market and the need in, uh, in uh, the demand in Africa for fertilizers. So I will say that uh, sometimes when the uh, political leaders meet the private people, uh, something good can uh, come out from that, and this is the case. 
And is Togo bringing any money out of the $2 billion, or is that coming from external investors? Uh, I think we will uh, see. I think that he's very much, uh, Mr. Dangote is better at that than me. So we'll discuss and see how best we can uh, uh, find, structure the, the financing of that project. And what other infrastructure projects are you looking at? How many? Uh, we, today now we have to strengthen our logistics system because of a big port, but you have to be more uh, efficient. We have to increase our offer in energy, so we will increase that also. But um, we will try, as long as we can use the private sector or PPP, we will do that. Uh, and the uh, road system also, eastward and westward, northward, no, a lot to do in that, in that sector. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. you very much.